YouTube Shuki here with a review of the Kamen Rider XA DX Mighty Brothers Double X Shot. So this is Emu's uh, little upgrade for our mid-season. And it splits into two. We got the, the Genius Gamer M and we got normal Emu hanging out here doing all sorts of co-op stuff. And it's actually really cool. It's a neat little gimmick. I like it. And it's kind of intertwining with the whole secret of Emu thing going on in the series right now. But this made its debut officially in the movie and then in the show about two weeks after that. So this was released in the middle of December 2016 for about 2,700 yen or so, give or take. About the price of two Gashat combined because, well, it's two Gashat combined. So makes sense uh, so there is that double x right there pretty neat dig it a lot so without further ado let's go ahead and get this open and take a look all right here it is and i like this one a lot it's pretty neat how it all works so obviously with the whole double x thing it is two gashat in one and you can see that right here based on how wide it is it does take up both slots in the gamer driver at one time so you cannot combine it with anything, nor can you use it in like the Kimoma slot holder or any of the weapons. But you can use it with the key slasher, which comes out pretty soon. Uh, so we'll take a look at that once I get it in the mail. But there we go. So we got the Mighty Brothers hanging out over there, which is the Mighty character from Mighty Action X, but a yellow and tealish color version, uh, which is really cool. I like the concept that... Emu kind of just created his own game <laughs> by taking what he knew with Mighty Action X and just kind of making it a, a two-player co-op sort of thing, which is really cool. I like that a lot. It's a neat little concept, and I love all the little gaming quirks in this series. It's really cool. Uh, so inside here, you can kind of see it is the uh, level 10 form of x which is basically just the level 1 version of Mighty Brothers hanging out in there. And there will be some changes with that as we play through the toy. Uh, no clear screen or anything. It is a orange piece of plastic right there with the teal design. Because everything works off of this little screen right here. And you will notice the fact that there's an on and off switch. Really cool. I'm glad we have that sound. Uh, so there is an on and off switch on this one because this does take uh, AAA batteries instead of the normal LR44s, and you do have to supply them, so make note of that. But other than that, we'll go ahead and cycle through the sounds. And yes, before anyone in the comments makes note, yeah, the opening riff does sound a little bit like uh, my new one from Power Rangers. So there you go. Um, I'm not 100% sure what sound that is. I think it's the sound of, like, the game screen popping up and the little thingies flying out of it. I think that's what that is. <laughs> but you have that sound, and then... And then we finally get the game clear noise, and it's always a victory. You never lose with Mighty Brothers Double X. So there we go, and it kind of looks like a burger, but... <laughs> <laughs> that's probably just me being hungry but that is it for the functions without the gamer driver of course the buttons are right here you can manipulate themselves but why do that when we have the gamer driver boom so uh right off the bat we'll just go ahead and slot that in now this doesn't work automatically you do have to flip it open And I am kind of bothered by how small that is in there because it's like that panel is technically all the way over here, like way, way back here somewhere. And so the little picture is already little to begin with. And now it's just kind of micro in there. That's my only real complaint with this thing is that the, the picture inside is just so incredibly small. But there is our transformation into level 10. And of course, to get to level 20, we have to close it and then open it again. So 
so much that my camera doesn't even want to focus on the little tiny picture, but we have the right and left forms of double action gamer level 20 hanging out uh, in there. Of course, now there's nothing on there because the electronics turned off, but hey, it is what it is. I love that jingle. I think it's really cool. Uh, and it's a nice little blend uh, of things, and I dig that a lot. You can still see the teal and orange through here, which I think is kind of nice since it doesn't rely on the electronics. And there we go. So finally, of course, since this doesn't work in the Kimo as a slot holder or the weapons, you have to do something a little bit different for the uh, final attack. You actually just have to close it and open it one more time. Mighty double critical strike. <laughs> so there we go uh, with that. And that's actually all the functions of this thing. It doesn't do a whole lot uh, compared to some of the other shot just because it doesn't have that functionality with the slot holder or the weapons or anything like that. Um, like I said, it will have functionality with the key slasher, so we'll take a look at that. So you can't rule it out completely. But even with the slightly less functionality, I like this one a lot. I love the fact that uh, it can switch between those two panels on the inside, despite how small they appear in the Gamer Driver. Uh, the colors are really cool, the jingles are neat, and it's just kind of fun having a giant Gishat instead of just the normal tiny ones. Plus, having an on and off button I think is really cool. I wish they all had that, just so that if you carry one around or something, or just have them in a bag, they won't jingle all around and start tapping buttons and making all sorts of noise and stuff so on and off buttons are greatly appreciated in these toys bandai but <laughs> there we go uh so pretty cool i like this one a lot the concept's really fun the toys really fun so i love the, i just love the fact that holly managed to to do everything I, I i dig it a lot i like it you guys know that i like it but <laughs> There we go. That about does it for this review. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments down below. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss a cool video like this one. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care and have a great one. Bye.